Okay, this is video two of nine, the radio arm saw. Uh, we use the radio arm saw in here for cutting our boards to convenient length and length. We can also use it for a few other things, but the main purpose is for cross-cutting our board. That's cutting across the grain. So normally after I run it through the planer, I'm going to come over here to the radio arm saw and cut it to my convenient lengths. Depending on what project you're making, that will determine what your convenient lengths are. A um, couple things about the planer, I mean the uh, radio arm saw is margin of safety. Okay, margin of safety is six inches. I should not have my fingers and hands any closer than six inches to the blade. The blade should be about an eighth to a quarter of an inch below the surface of the board or below the surface of the table. If I need to raise or lower the uh, blade, this wheel or crank up here on the top does that. Dust collector again is tied to the uh, radio arm saw, so I need to have the chute open and the dust collection system on. Whenever I set my board onto the table, I want to keep it flat on the table and against the fence. Hold it on the left hand side with my left hand by grip and grip the saw with my right hand. Pull it slowly through my board all the way past the edge. I don't need to pull it all the way out to the end of the table or to the end of the arm, just through my material and always return the saw to the rear of the table. Keep your tape measure, tri-square pencil, whatever you may have out of the zone where the blade is going to come through. Okay, keep it off to the side. Try not to let your scraps accumulate around the blade. Okay, so if you're cutting a little bit off, make sure that you remove it, throw it away before you make your next cut. So I'm going to be cutting the board that I, that I plane in video one on the planer to my convenient length. I'm going to need tape measure, pencil, and possibly a square. Um, when you're using a radio arm saw, it's not necessarily the uh, necessary that you have a tri-square, but when you put your mark, you're going to want to put your mark at the top edge, and the edge is going to be against the fence of the uh, radio arm saw. And always start measuring from the better end. You can see that this is the bad end, this is my better end. Okay, I'm going to be cutting it for the uh, folding table that we make in Woods 1. So I'm going to set it up to 35 inches. And then I'm going to do a 20 inch piece for my, um, or 21 inch piece for one of my uh, slats on a table. So you can see the different lengths of them. So 35 and then 21 inches for the top. Again, this is convenient length. What convenient length is, is an inch longer than what we need. So I'm going to do 21 inches. Okay. Again, I put my mark up here at the top. If I wanted to, sometimes it's a good practice to use a tri-square and put lines at a right angle or perpendicular to my edge. So you can see 35 inches, 21 inches. That is either scrap or I'll use it for something else. So I got my mark. I'm going to label this legs and this slat and then put my name on it so after I cut it I'll have two pieces I'll have my name on both pieces. Right. So I line up where my first cut is going to be all right just bringing the blade out to line up with my line return the saw to the rear put my safety glasses on hold it with my left hand and grip the saw with my right hand. The on off button is right here on the handle. Maintain a six inch margin of safety. Okay, 
and I'm going to pull it slowly through my material. Again, I'm not going to turn the dust collector on due to the uh, noise factor. So I turn it on, pull it in slowly, all the way through, return it, shut it off. There's a 35 inch convenient lathe. Since I have enough material here, that I can still maintain a six inch margin of safety. If I was cutting it, I, I wouldn't want to do that. I'd want to flip it around. And I had more distance on the left hand side to maintain my six inch margin of safety. Again, I line the blade up with my mark, return it to the rear, hold it with my left hand, turn the saw on, Shut it off. So now I have my two pieces of convenient length. And this would end up being my extra piece or my scrap piece. I could save it for something later, but for this uh, particular demonstration, I'm going to put it up here on the shelf. So again, radio arm saw, six inch margin of safety, place the board flat on the table against the fence. Hold this, the board with your left hand, bring the saw through, always return the saw to the rear of the table, remove scraps after each cut, okay, slowly and evenly, shut it off, and move on. So again, this is video two of nine, the radio arm saw.